Welcome to Wonder How Story Time. Children's books read aloud. The Secret Life of Walter Kitty by Barbara Jean Hicks, illustrated by Dan Santat. My person doesn't know it, but my real name is Fang. Here, Walter. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. That's her now, Mrs. Biddle. If I've told her once, I've told her a thousand times. My name is Fang. Look lively, you lily-livered louse. Wally, eek! Wally? Breakfast! Okay, so once in a good long while, I answer to Wally. Madam, you spoil that cat. That's Mr. Biddle. He lives with us. I don't like it, but for my person's sake, I put up with him. I don't know what Mrs. Biddle would do without me. If I didn't help around the house, she'd be washing dishes, dusting shelves, and sweeping floors till the cows came home. Does she say thank you? Hardly. Walter, I've had enough. Ha! If she doesn't want my help, I'll help Mr. Biddle. You'd think he'd be grateful for my hard work. Shaking the rug and making the bed, and doing the crossword puzzle. Does he say thank you? Not even. Cat, I've had it up to here. All right then. If they don't want my help, I'll help myself. All that helping wears me out. Captain Fang to the rescue! Squirm, you scurvy scoundrels! Walter, wake up! You're having a nightmare! And Mrs. Biddle wakes me up from the most delicious dream. Kitten, kitten? I think you need a bit of catnip. Okay, so once in a great long while, I answer to kitten. Catnip puts me in the mood to show Mr. Biddle a thing or two in the garden. We plant, we prune, we weed. Eureka! The skull of the mad monkey king of Mambosa. Does Mr. Biddle care? Nincompoop! Out of my garden! Nincompoop? How many times do I have to say it? My name is Fang. I slink inside to tell Mrs. Biddle about it. Walter, my clean floor. Uh-oh. If I don't get busy now with my super duty self-cleaning, self-scrub brush tongue, I'm in trouble. Tub trouble. Soap, bubbles, water. I get busy right away. After my bath, I feel a nap coming on. Roar! Mrs. Biddle, your cat is having conniptions. And Mr. Biddle shakes me out of my best dream yet. Poor Schnookums was um having another nightmare, baby. Nightmare? Schnookums? Baby? Then, Mrs. Biddle lifts me up and sets me down on her big, soft lap and finds the exact spot under my chin that wants a good, hard scritching. I confess, once in a very great long while, I answer to baby, but most of the time, I'm Fang.